Now we're ready to start painting. The key to this step is to do multiple thin coats versus one thick coat. Typically, fusion only requires two coats, but sometimes you might wanna do three or even four, depending on the coverage and how you want the piece to look. So to do a thin coat, you take your brush, dip it just partially into the can, wipe off the excess, so you have just a little bit of paint on your brush, and then do nice, even strokes, typically along the wood grain, but it's not always necessary. All right, so that's how you apply one thin coat of paint. Once that's complete, you allow dry times of two to four hours and then you apply a second coat. And then if you do have to apply a third coat, then you wait another two to four hours and then apply. So here's what the piece looks like after the first coat. As you can see, you can still see the wood through the paint. There's another piece. So now I'm going to add a second coat of paint. And again, you're going to apply it like you did the first. So take just a little bit of paint on your brush, wiping this excess so it's not a ton. And then just go back over the same spots that you did before in the same, well, for this one, horizontal pattern. And as you can see, we're getting really great coverage after just two coats. And if you do happen to run into issues with um, hair pulling from your brush onto the piece, don't worry, just pull it off while it's wet and go over it so you don't have any marks where the hair was once. Okay, so easy peasy, nice straight strokes. And then again, you're gonna wait two hours for this to dry. And then if you would like to add a third coat, more than welcome to, most of the time two will do. So here's what it looks like after two coats. Good coverage. Again, this is what it looks like with one coat. And then that is the second coat. Okay, thanks.